All right, it is game time. Roll a rectangular array. This is the game that you will find in your packet this week. Um, so I figured I would show you how to play. Um, and then there's lots of different ways that you can do it, okay? Um, I added a couple things to my directions sheet. So when you look in your packet, this is what you're going to find. I put a note for myself that a row goes from side to side, okay? Um, we also know that columns go up and down, but I really want to know where my row is. Um, these problems are going to show us when we roll, we're going to have to come up with how many ro rows there are and then how many are in each row. So I made some notes over here at the top. So if you want to take a piece of paper and make this part in your notebook to help you, you can do that. If you print it out or have your packet in front of you, you can write it in the corner. Um, but what I did basically was each time I roll, I have to know how many rows and how many in each row, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Uh, number one, first it says to roll two dice. The first number rolled tells how many rows of color tiles to build in a rectangular array. The second number rolled tells how many color tiles to put in each row. So we're gonna do this part first and then we'll draw it, okay? So I have my dice roller here and it told me I needed two. Now I can roll one twice but we'll go ahead and give it a roll. So, okay, I have a three and a two, so I'm gonna, oh, it adds it for me, nope, I don't want that. Okay, so the first number is going to be how many rows, and the second number is going to be how many in each row, okay? So my first dice was a three, second dice was two, okay. So now I have one, how many rows? Three. So I'm going to label my rows. One, two, three. And then in each row, I have one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay? So I chose to do mine that way. So then if I wanted to practice drawing, I know that I have a, a big rectangle like this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And again, you can, this is takes us back to the last lesson we did, which was two plus two plus two equals six, or three times two equals six. Three groups of two equals six. Okay. Let's try this again. All right, so I'm going to have my dice roller. I'm going to roll the dice. Okay, so I have a four and a six. So how many rows? I have four, and in each row, I have six. Okay? All right, so I know that I need one, two, three, four. Now, if you want to color code these instead, you can color code them. That's fine. Um, it's up to you, um, but this is sort of makes sense to me. You have to make sure you're counting your one though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And you're going to do that each time. And I'm going to rush this along a little bit. Okay, so all of these are going to go down, so that would be my rectangle, okay? That's a lot. Okay, so I have four rows of six in each row, or four groups of six. So I can go ahead and do six plus six plus six plus six, okay? Which I know that six plus six is 12, six and six plus 12, well, it's 24, so it's 24 total, or I have four rows of six in each row, which gives me 24, okay? So um, they're having you write the number sentences, the repeated addition, so make sure you do that, but if you want to challenge yourself, 
go ahead and see if you can find the multiplication fact for it too, okay? Um, and you can keep playing this over and over again um, and see all the different types of rectangles that you can draw, you can create, okay? And you can use any manipulative. So you can use, again, you can use cereal, you can use um, coins, you can use little blocks, um, you can use your markers, you can color it, you can get graph paper, um, lots of things, beads, all kinds of stuff, okay? So go ahead, have fun, play with everyone in your house. All right, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.